Mine is a 43 podcast. Na 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 na. To die listening to the 43 podcast would be a na 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 na. Uh, take me out. Take nice me song. Out. Yeah. Anyway, the 43 podcast is back. <laughs> <laughs> and once again with your only two hosts of the show. What's going on here? What's going on the, here? Guy, the the guy chair. in the chair. Again, taking a day off. It's many, day, many days off. Listen, I don't like it any more than you do. Yeah. But I might, I might float out of feeler mm. for a new guy in the chair. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. Also, nobody would take it probably. No, it's true. Except we, for maybe, maybe some listeners are li- living here in Sweden. Maybe some listener in Stockholm would be up for the for the opportunity challenge. Maybe a couple a couple of weeks ago, maybe in months ago at this point, there were, uh, I bumped into Axel Stemme, mm. a friend of the show, friend of the show, who I have a good friend. Asked the question: um, Can you truly be altruistic? All right, right. I remember that? Yeah, yeah. Did, and we we talked about it, right? We did talk about it. Okay. Yeah. And then Emilio actually walked into the show. Oh, it was. Because we were still doing music practice. It was one of them short episodes. It was one of those episodes where we, we were just like, we didn't give it the respect it deserved. No. Because we were like, let's just do the pod before we have the music. Oh, my God. That was arrogant of us. That was arrogant. Yeah. It was incredibly arrogant. But, yeah. uh, you know, what is an arrogant? The 43 podcast. The 43 podcast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> back at it again. Nice. Yeah. But, uh, should we do some small talk? How are you? I was thinking we could do a performance review of you today. Fantastic. Which is why I have this notebook here. Yes, please. I, uh, so on in episode 27, right, 24 yeah. minutes oh, in, you said, yeah, the I word, hate yeah. women. What did you mean by that exactly? Oh, that one? Uh, yeah. What I meant was I hate when they don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's not what this is about. We were talking about my quirky book before. I would yeah. like to announce that I have... Uh, I have no idea, no, what, I no idea what I'm doing. That's not a good book, man. I'll it, be honest. It's a quirky book that I got in Lisbon. Yeah. That, that, that's the only thing I'll give to you. You got it on vacation. You were feeling much better at the time. Yeah. But it's not a good but book, what if we? what if you had your first day in class, in a new class, and I roll up and I sit next to you, and this is a notebook that I bring out. Aren't yeah. you like, who is that guy? Where is he? I'm sort of pulling your pants down at lunch at that point. Oh, in front of the entire class. Oh, uh, and univer- I was thinking university, but you'd pull that shit in university class too. Yeah, <laughs> okay. you're goddamn right. I would. <laughs> I pull down your pants, and all the little girl, all the I mean, grown women there see your little micro peen. So, that, so it's not a good idea. I wouldn't bring the book, man. Oh my god, I'm more of a classic like Muji notebook guy. It's just mm. like a black cover, mm. and it has like a little thingy, and then you just like. It makes you look sexy and mysterious. Yeah. Or aren't you the kind of guy who brings out like your grandfather's old book from World War II, like leather case, <laughs> okay, like really historical. Like only a few pages left. <laughs> yeah. But for some reason, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's funny. It's my grandpa. Yeah. Interesting story. Yeah. He died in World War II. See, that's a conversation starter, a notebook. A notebook yeah. can be the conversation that you need. What's in the notebook? Just... Is it like work stuff or are you actually like just using like it for ideas it? and journals and like some math calculations? If if you're if you have balls, you give yeah. that notebook to me and I flip through <laughs> the page. Don't. No, this is uh, this is between me and me. Okay, I, Ma- no, I respect Ma- that. Ma- Matthew McConaughey style. He says that he starts his morning writing a journal, hey. and he's like, mm. "This is a moment for me. It's between me and me, or something." He said something like that. That sounds like him too. Yeah. I think if you can make it <clears throat> so that like you actually think that that book is you. Yeah. Or, or if, if you can manifest that, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I think it's really, I think it's good. But yeah. me personally, mm. I cannot. I know for a fact I'm too much of a realist mm. to like look at the book and be like, this isn't like, this isn't me. Yeah, 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 yeah. This isn't from me to me. But this I love that. But I love you, it. I, I wish I could. I love the sentiment of it. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, it's just a bunch of crap calculations. Look. You, oh. oh, it's your apartment. Yeah, um, and for the audio listeners, I'm showing a, a, a blueprint of sorts with a bunch of calculations. What's the first thing you wrote in that book? 
Well, I'm not gonna say it if it's if it's personal. If it's between okay. me and me, <laughs> if it's not between you and you. Then keep it between no, you this and is you. A, it, it. Some notes from a meeting. Um, I think this was my first day at my current job two years ago. Oh, and you wanted and to I, be quirky. Yeah, and I I brought this notebook up as, as, as somebody took my pants down at lunch break. Really? Yeah. No, no. Th- these are some notes from the beginning. Look, I was such a good boy. I was. I wrote the date. I was like taking notes of how things work, uh-huh. and then. I only did it for a couple of days, and then it's just bullshit. Note taking for me is more like <clears throat> it's like when you read a book, and you say what you're reading to yourself out loud in a way, mm. but in your head. Yeah, you know what I mean. I like, know what like, you mean. It's ra- rather than like sitting in a me- in a meeting and then listening to yeah what people have to say. It's yeah. like I write it down so I can listen and then repeat. Yeah, I'm never gonna look at the notes again. No, that's a problem. But but it just, it's just it's just better for for the, your initial like retention. Yeah, because I have I have trouble remembering shit. Yeah, but then because, because we live in a world where we don't really need to remember shit anymore. I guess so. I I'm also I'm I am also really bad at that. We have we have friends where like our friend Tobias, yeah, in particular, will always be like, actually, like we went to that concert in on September like nineteenth. Yeah, I remember because on and it was 2013. I remember because, like this yeah. movie was coming out, and I was gonna go see it the next week, and that came yeah. out in 2013. He has that good memory, that yeah. long term. And then you were actually wearing this because I was <clears throat> there. Oh, it's the connections. Like this happened and that happened uh-huh. that day, and that's and my dad's the same way. He is well, the same when, way. When you're an old man and you're a dad, you have to be the same way because you have to tell your kids stories and be like, mm. "Well, I moved to." Mexico, you know, 1973. Yeah. And then you have you have to have like years memorized. Yeah, shit. but they they remember shit because they didn't have the internet. Fucking assholes. But yeah. we grew up we grew up with the internet. We don't need to remember shit. No, that's we why, don't. That's why our parents have such good memory. Yeah. And I prefer you prefer? I prefer. <laughs> you prefer. I prefer dot. to live with the internet. With it, I I I do too actually. The internet is great. You know what else is great? Yeah. What yeah, what do you what do you got today? I wrote down a couple of things that annoyed me this week. Boner time. Oh hell yeah. Boner time. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um the first one is uh, a woman smacking her fingers in a cafe. She was eating a bun and it had uh, that sort of uh powder what, what what's it called? The uh, like van- a va- vanilla sort of vanilla powder. Yeah sugar thingy, yeah, yeah and she was like uh picking it up with her finger from the plate and just licking her finger and oh, going like gross go like this and it was so it was so annoying that sounds like an old person it was an old person yeah. with her with her daughter at a cafe fucking disgusting i <clears throat> you know what's you know what truly is disgusting about that for me hmm. for me it's the fact that she left home and then on the way there, you know, she's opening doors, you know, she's exactly. like old. So she's like getting up from the subway and holding a pole and like yeah. pulling herself up and then ordering thing, take out her wallet, pay with the thing, put her code in the thing. And like maybe mm-hmm. she meets someone, get a little bit of COVID-19 on her index finger. And then just right. Just... Oh, and then, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kissing that COVID-19 <laughs> yeah. virus. And then sort of flicking it at her daughter as well. Yeah. Also doing that. <laughs> That really, that really annoyed me. That's disgusting. Yeah. Also, um, there was also a couple in the subway who were PDAing, PDAing hard. She was sucking him off. She was actually sucking him <laughs> off. That fuck, disturbed right? me a little bit. <laughs> no, they were they were really just uh, making out intensely. That means. They and were I was young. like, guys, chill. They were really young, huh? No, they no, they were probably uh, oh. thirty or something like that. Thirty, yeah, which That's isn't too, even which is, isn't even old. Okay, here's my new theory: their parents, yeah. young parents that are yeah. thirty, and they got their like, they finally got a babysitter, yeah, and then they went out on the town and they were just fucking horny. And they were <laughs> yeah, just like, oh, yeah, but I it was need it, to make out on the but train. it was like on a Monday oh. afternoon, just a random okay. ass day and time. Yeah, yeah. In, in, a, in a pretty crowded subway train. But I, I don't know. I think if you are going to display PDA, you need to do it. You need to be... You have some responsibility. You have a little bit of because responsibility. Because some of us are single, but we don't have a oh. partner, okay? And we don't need to That's see that why. shit. Oh, That's shit. why. I, I was wondering I was wondering if you were maybe jealous. Maybe I was jealous. You, you were jealous? 
maybe maybe I wasn't disgusted as much as I was jealous. Well, it's it's a list of things that bothered you. Yeah. So technically, it applies. Oh it's yeah. You were so just, you wanted in on that. I wanted in on that action, and then I huh. went in there and like with my cheek, <laughs> do, do me. Because no. you want it on your cheek. <laughs> I want it like, on the lips. Just like, a little bit on the cheek. Just a little bit of sugar right here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but I don't know. I Because when I think of PDA, uh-huh. if I'm in a, with a partner, let's say. <laughs> if I am with a partner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I always, I don't know. I'm careful with the PDA. Because uh-huh. I actually do think like maybe some people don't need to see this for me it's not so much about other people for me it's like it's personal it's between me it's between me me and me and me 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 and me so back up yeah Yeah. but yeah for me it's not like i don't want or is it i don't know i don't know why why i don't like it i i don't know I'll, i'll i'll hold a hand yeah but holding hand holding hands is okay that that's nice but 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 the the making out on a Monday at like four thirty, the on tongues the, swirling. Tongue, yeah, the tongue swirling. Yeah, that's that's uh. It's not. It's not sexy. It's not sexy. I almost and, and wanted I, to yeah, say. Yeah, I want to keep it sexy. I wanted to say get a room, unironically almost. <laughs> and then uh, <clears throat> there's a guy. It seems like I, I feel like a psychopath just listing down everything that annoyed me this week. No, I love it. Annoying guy at volleyball. There's this guy nice. and. Uh, He's f- what's his name? Mm, I don't remember exactly. Okay, but he's French. Oh, mm, so you know already. No, I know. Yeah, <laughs> no, but he, uh, he, uh, he's the kind of guy that just spreads toxic energy in the team. Uh huh. Like if you spike and you or you make a, some sort of mistake, he's the kind of guy to roll his eyes and be like, oh, "Come on, guys, focus, focus." <laughs> You know that kind of guy, and then he calls out the entire team. Yeah, you know, like if if you did if you made a mistake, he's, yeah, he's like to hide the fact that he's annoyed at you specifically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, exactly. Guys, guys, come on, team, focus. Yeah, and then he's he, he'll use like terminology like we need to we need to think of the block shadow. So if you guys stand a little bit to the left there, la la la, but not in like um mm-hmm. friendly way, more in like a arrogant way. Uh huh. And it pisses me off, this guy. He's he's too competitive to play in. Yeah, uh, but I'm but but it's like you're not you're not that good to be talking like that. You're, <laughs> you're not on the appropriate skill level. Your your talking doesn't match your skill level, and vice versa. Uh-huh. So so he pisses me he pisses me off. Me and, too, uh, honestly. And uh, one time he was I was serving, and he was like, "Oh, your foot was over the line." Uh And then oh, I, okay, I was like, "Oh, okay, okay." And then when anyway, ma- 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 next time I served, I I made it a point to stand like. That More, extremely far away and i told him is this good enough for you <laughs> that i served you uh, know what if you're if you're watching listening at home round of applause for that yeah like, honestly round of applause yeah, 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 i yeah. love yeah. i love that yeah i was like i, I love I, I, that before shit. i started I, I yelled to him is this good enough for you <laughs> yeah and he's uh, you know what did he do tell me please he didn't say anything but some people laughed a little bit yeah i love it no I, yeah i you're, you're the- can't believe I'm about to say this, but you're the man for that. Yeah. For that, you're the fucking I, man. I had to, but I, I got angry with him. And, <laughs> yeah, and I, I love it. And whenever we, because we always play games and they, the coach divides us into teams, I'm like, oh, I really don't want to be in this guy's team. Oh. And then, uh, you know, sometimes you end up in his team. That's inevitable, you know? <laughs> That's like the kind of life lesson you get from like school and stuff. Yeah. Because I, I, I mean, in your class in school, did, was there a person that you were like, like I really don't want to be in this person's group. yeah 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 group group, group, group assignment exactly for so I think reasons. you know that's what it prepares you for but yeah. you can't get away from that shit ever no I can't remember any time where I've been like oh I don't want to yeah I don't want to play with this guy on my team yeah. or I don't want to do this project with yeah them. yeah yeah and then the nice the the I I was walking home from practice with a guy and I was like does this guy also bother you and then yeah. he agreed and i was like fuck yeah. and then yeah. we were just talking crap like i fucking hate this guy and yeah just and i always like, fucking knows man <laughs> yeah. like, he's this yeah. ugly fucker just become real evil all of a sudden <laughs> yeah. yeah nothing to do with it. maybe that, a bit too much also that's a really good way to bond with someone too to hate to find to, a thing you hate a mutual a mutual a, a hate. person especially exactly it doesn't get better than that mm-hmm. but yeah so that yeah that that's one thing and then I, I missed my half marathon yesterday. Me no. Now that one was that one was a bummer. 
Me but no. It's, but it's not the real marathon that's coming up in two months. But this one I was supposed to run because it's good training and it's just fun. Wait, this, it's not the Stockholm Marathon. The, 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 this one yesterday was the Stockholm Half Marathon. Yeah. Yeah. But the Stockholm Marathon is next year. Yes. Okay. What's this one in two months? Uh, but I'm running this one in Florence, Italy. Yeah. And you actually are going. Yeah. I mean, I booked a ticket and, and yeah, you booked a ticket. So I, I booked a ticket and I booked my spot, so yeah, I have to, I have to at least go there. And you um, definitely got to get, you know, <clears throat> are you situated Airbnb style? I, I am not situated yet. Yeah, Mary, you got to situate, man. <laughs> you got to situate. <laughs> you got to situate. I have not situated yet. Um, I should look into that. Were well, you planning on just like doing it the day before just just go <laughs> just just do it the day of <laughs> yeah just no. on your phone on the way there like yo i need this place uh, now I'm, I'm i'm gonna i'm gonna get to something um i'm gonna look it up but yeah. i was like i need to i need to book the ticket now because that means that's sort of like i have to go now uh-huh. this is this is real um but now but yeah but now i missed a half marathon because i caught a little bit of a cold earlier this week mm. and uh and uh i google like i googled this and like can you exercise if you're sick and, yeah okay and there's some sort of rule maybe not a rule but it's it's like a recommendation that if your symptoms are from the neck and above mm. you could exercise okay but if it's neck and below you should probably rest and you have diarrhea and <laughs> i have diarrhea specifically yeah, yeah, yeah. so i couldn't <laughs> no i had something in my chest and I was like, okay, if it's chest, maybe I shouldn't do it. And you tested negative for COVID. And I tested, I tested, yeah, because it reminded me of COVID, the symptoms. I was like, congestion Could in the chest. False negative. Could be false negative. Could be false. I, uh, it was a clear, clear red line and nothing, 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 nothing on okay. the other one. Yeah, so no, I trust you. It should be fine. Um, so, but yeah, I missed a mar- half marathon. It and feels like it should be the opposite. Like if you're neck above, mm. you could exercise. Yeah. Just, I'm thinking like headache. Sore I'm throat. To exercise with a sore throat, a headache, and like, I don't know, a fever. I feel like you, I, I feel like fever is located in head. Mm. That seems weird to me. Yeah, I don't know what the logic is there either, but um, I didn't. I didn't go for it. I was looking forward to. I was. I was looking forward to smashing it. To be honest, yeah. This half marathon. I was like, I'm gonna smash this half marathon into pieces were you actually though i, I was planning on doing you it. were planning i was on... feeling quite good about this one you actually were yeah like genuinely like you gen- actually were like gen- <laughs> oh, okay okay <laughs> I, was, I was genuinely gonna attempt to do it in a good at a good speed at yeah least. i mean it feels like if, it feels like if you've done a marathon two marathons nonetheless yes a half marathon should just be like yeah that's something you do on a weekend you'd you'd think so you'd think so yeah but surprisingly enough that's not how it works in my experience yeah we're also competitive you know if you're seeing people running yeah i'm like wait a minute this guy can't run before me (laughs) exactly you see like some old woman in front of you like wait a minute no way she's faster than i am no way that this old woman is faster than me yeah yeah you have that element to it but my sister ran it um so she represented our family that's good but her time was not abysmal abysmal so i would <laughs> okay. rather she doesn't represent us next time okay no, yeah that's good and um yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's enough about the half, half marathon i'm a little bit worried because it sets me back a little bit and the marathon uh-huh. is in two months so your boy's gonna try at least yeah you should i mean now you're feeling at what 90 percent yeah i'm pretty much i'm pretty much good it's just you know the aftershock of a yeah cold uh, exactly a that means in like two days from now hmm. you start like practicing gotta and training get, gotta get to it that's two months of practice man you're good i'm gonna try and then also i my last thing on the list here uh my, i have a problem with my fridge at home <laughs> i wanted to ask you if your fridge makes a lot of noise first of all okay is your yeah is my fridge running you're really gonna do this one on me uh, yeah exactly yeah well yeah. I, I i better go catch it yeah 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 uh, well no actually my fridge doesn't make a lot of noise it doesn't no Okay, because I because my mind gives off this low frequency mm, hum. Okay, and uh, I once you once you realize it, once you focus in on that, you uh-huh. can't let go of that feeling. Uh-huh. It gets disturbing real quick. So, uh, and I found a so- temporary solution is to turn it off a little bit, Ooh. and then turn it on, Ooh. and then it's like calm for for a while, but then it starts up again. But it's calm for a couple of minutes. So I have a window of a, of 10 minutes to fall asleep 
And then if I don't, <laughs> I need to go up and, and turn it off and then go back to bed and try to fall asleep oh, before it goes. Oh, man. I mean, you're actually like, number one, you have sleep troubles. Yeah. And now, you're, and now right before bed, you're putting a time limit uh, yeah, on, but, on when you need to sleep? Oh, no. Yeah, but no, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, what I, it's what I did the last couple of days because I, I got real uh, annoyed with it. Um, but the thing is, I've had um, technicians coming in and trying to re- repair this thing. Uh-huh. And they visited me four times. Four? Yeah, one time just to analyze what's going on. And yeah, and wait, don't tell me you paid. I know I haven't paid a dime and I ain't Thank going to. God. Imagine you have to pay for this guy to go analyze. <laughs> Never. I'm going to go berserk on him if he asks me for money. Yeah. Two, uh, second time he, he came with his friend or a colleague. Mm. Uh, maybe they're friends too. I don't know. Maybe. And, and, and they tried to repair it. And mm-hmm. they're like, oh, yeah, there were a couple of pipes or something pressing against it. Uh, some The compressor or something. La, uh-huh. la, la, la. Okay, but the problem comes back, uh-huh. and then the third time another guy comes to analyze it, mm. and he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah it was probably the compressor or something." Um, mm-hmm. And then that guy comes together with the other guy, and they repair it again, mm-hmm. and now I still have the problem. It must be something with the flux capacitor. I, maybe, I was maybe, thinking. <laughs> maybe next time these guys show up, you're just, you know what? Did you check? Can you just check the flux capacitor the flux for me, capacitor. please? I have a weird feeling it might be the flux capacitor, but 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 now I, now I'm pissed off, so I call customer service. And I was like, <clears throat> "Wait, for who? The fridge or the technician?" <clears throat> I I can't company. call the technician uh, I, uh, directly. I have to call the customer service, who then books the technician. Yeah, okay. And I call the customer service and I tell them, "You've been here four times. Uh-huh. The problem still hasn't been fixed. I can't. This shit is annoying me." Uh-huh. It's, I'm having trouble sleeping, or and like it's just distracting, and I need you guys to come here and fix it now, because mm-hmm. I because I, I can't. It's embarrassing for you. <laughs> you know why? Because I, it's embarrassing. For I, you. Did, I did. I did say it like I, because I was so pissed off. I was running on high on emotion. I did say it was. It's embarrassing for you. Wait, can you say? Wait, how did you say it in Swedish? As a diapin some fear. <laughs> that passive aggressive but i still re- i remain calm and very passive aggressive uh-huh. and but then i told him i t- <laughs> no not really the same thing you yeah know? i remained calm <laughs> however and very pa- passive very passive aggressive <laughs> <laughs> but i told the, i told the customer support person i was like this is nothing to do with you i know that you have nothing to do with this but yes like but you get you get my frustration right uh-huh. and like yeah 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 but like he was like yeah I, what i can do is i can book another appointment and mm-hmm. i was like I don't want another appointment for them to come here and like analyze it and then not fix yeah. the problem one uh-huh. more time. If they haven't fixed it after four times, why are they going to fix it the fifth time? Just, mm-hmm. I want a new fridge is what I told them. And then he was like, yeah, I get your, your thinking and you can like, you can, you can ask for another fridge. Mm-hmm. Like you have to fill this form, la, 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 la. And I was like, but how long is that going to take? He's like, I have to be honest with the situation in the world because of logistics and stuff, because of the the war and pandemic and everything. Yeah, th- they can't are, just like get a new fridge. Yeah, there are problems with logistics and uh-huh. almost everything. He's like, it could take a while. So I mm. interpret that as weeks. And I was like, yeah, but I can't wait weeks for this to be fixed. So I was like, let's get this, the technician one more time then. until the, I'll do both at the same time. I'll, uh-huh. I'll fill this form, but then also try to see if we can fix it. And then he was like, yeah, the earliest time is next week on Friday. I was, oh. I was like... Yeah, but can't you like put a priorities pr- prioritize me or something because uh-huh. of the situation? It's like, uh, yeah, I can put a note here in case somebody cancels their appointment. They can go to mm-hmm. you. And it's like, yeah, but like, I mean, like a real pr- prioritization, not just a, uh-huh. like a little note. Yeah, wow, I think, you were really demanding. No, but, yeah, but I was, I was riding high, riding high on emotions. <laughs> yeah, on no, adrenaline, but too, also sure. remaining calm at the same time. <laughs> yeah, but I mean. I would never have pressed that hard. I pressed hard. I yeah, pressed hard. I like respect. A, no, I, I respect it. It's I, good. And I plan to press hard tomorrow morning also and call them and be like. And you demand more. Demand. Demand. Again, come now, today. Yeah. Because wow. it's embarrassing for them, Richard. Yeah. How four did times. you end the call? Um, no, we uh, we agreed that uh, I, I took the time that they suggested, which is Friday next, next week. And then um, I was like, okay. But I told them, um, call me like. They can call me if, if they, mm. whatever, like I'm available mm. whenever, if they, if they can come earlier. And, and that was it. Okay, player. <laughs> okay. Yeah, call, call, me call me whenever. whenever. I'm hey, available. You can also call me whenever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah, but, but also I, I told them I was, maybe I was pressing too hard. I also said like, I don't want them to come and analyze and then 
come back one week later to fix it. Uh huh. So I was like, could you like, could you tell them to like analyze before coming so that when they come, they fix it. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. They should be able to do that. We have the notes like because they take notes uh -huh. every time they visit. So we'll see. That, that, you know, I am afraid to go home and realize that about my fridge. <laughs> like, I don't no. want to go home and be like, oh my God, actually, like, there is a lot of like noise coming up. Right I don't here. think you will. I, I think I'm a psychopath. But in, in, I'm, a, I'm, I'm too sensitive to that shit. So I pick yeah. up on that. It's like a low frequency. Like, every other person would ignore it, probably. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's like that's the only thing I can focus on. Mm -hmm. So. I had, I had that in my uh, in my bathroom. Yeah. Every, like like at a random interval, there would be like a boop. Mm. That, that exact boop. Like oh, that. that. Oh, that's annoying. And, and like, it, it, it almost sounded like a drop falling. Mm. It almost sounded like a vibration. It almost sounded like a, like a technical noise. Mm. But, but I couldn't find it. And I was like, I was walking around the entire apartment and then, and then I would stop in one corner and like, yeah. and not hear it. Yeah. Now I'd move slightly closer to yeah. like in a different, different area. Yeah. And then I would stand in the bathroom and be like, there's a noise. Yeah. There's a noise. But then, but luckily, you know, just close the door and you don't hear it from the uh, bed. That's good. That's good. But that's something that I'm just <laughs> I relate to that shit of like moving around, like, to, like going to this spot mm -hmm. and then going to this spot. I'm legit picking up a toothbrush and I'm, <laughs> I'm holding it up to, up to my yeah. ear and being like, is it you, you motherfucker? <laughs> Where are you? Is it you? Where is he? <laughs> Where is Harvey Dent? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, yeah. Once, once you focus on that shit, it's hard to like not notice it. Uh huh. You can, you can go crazy. Yeah. At least I can. There's a, I could, I could totally, if, if, if I'm reading a book, uh, which I do. What you do? Yeah, you. I read book. Manga doesn't okay. count. Well, it's not manga. Ma manga manga oh it's manga sorry but 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 i, but I was reading a book and then there was i'm a hundred percent sure there was a double space ah just just at, on one of the pages there was like you know it's basically but then in one of the like pages there was just a double spacing between and then, two and words and then your quirky ocd kicked in and then, and then and then you're like is that like how do i how do I confirm whether or not this is a double space? And then you bring out a ruler. And start yeah, measuring. but 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 it, but it could just be like, I don't know. It could be one space, but mm -hmm. I'm quite sure this is a double space. And am I am I about to like email? Yeah. The publisher and be like, can you check if this <laughs> double space? Yeah. But no, I'm not doing that. That that would be funny. I'm also I'm, but I but I can I can also let go. That's good. Uh, so I'm just like, like, okay, the double space. I'm not going to read the page because mm. every now and if I read a couple of sentences yeah. down, yeah, it's the only thing I can see on the page, the yeah. double space. Yeah. And then I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> you know what? I'm turning the page. <laughs> like, I'm not going <laughs> to read can't that deal with page. Yeah. Yeah. No, I need, I need to find a way to like ignore, ignore that shit. So you're getting a new fridge. No, I'm, I'm going to wait until they come on Friday. Uh-huh. Uh, but I have to find a way to like ignore the sound until then. And will the problem, if if you get a new fridge and the mm. problem persists, are you selling that? Fucking then I'm place selling the whole fucking apartment <laughs> and moving to a different country. Yeah. No, no, I don't know what. I, if that would that would be my that would be a nightmare. Yeah, you'll you'll find a solution. I'm sure. I think I will. I'm. Uh, that was the end of my. I probably there were probably more things that annoyed me this week, but that was the end of that list. I, I don't have anything that really annoys me like that. I I think the only thing that annoys me is like I live with a I live with a girl that annoys you. That's that that annoys me. That's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. No no no. There there are, there are a few things. I'm sure like every every I mean every couple will have that. Mm. You know. So like I don't want to I don't want to dox anything here. Yeah yeah but yeah. Too 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 detailed. Mm. But just, I like to run a tight ship. A tight ship, meaning? Meaning certain things need to be in the, uh, done in a, carried out in a certain way. And put in a certain place. Ah, right, right. That's it. Yeah. But otherwise, no, I, I, I had a pretty unbothered week. That's uh, good. Um, I, I'm watching a TV show. A TV show? That's interesting. I watched, I watched, what kind it's of not TV House show? of Dragons. It's not House of Dragons. It's not the Lord of the Rings show. It's not Cobra Kai season five. I have 
I'm not I'm not interested in Cobra Kai, even yeah. though I I think it looks good. Yeah, yeah. I I uh, I'm not in, I'm not gonna watch it. Okay. I, I I don't feel that way about the Rings of Power and House of Dragons. Mm-hmm. When I see those shows, I think uh, I'm not interested. I'm going to watch the Rings of Power mm. just because it's like. Um, uh, uh, like I really like Lord of the Rings, of course. And you're going to remain calm, but very passive aggressive. I'm going to remain calm, but watch. extremely judgmental. <laughs> extremely, yeah, <laughs> like, I'm going to, pull, I'm going to like, put the first episode on and just be like, I like that combination. Yeah. You know what? Nah. Yeah. Uh, but have you heard of Oz? O Z. Yeah. Oz. Yeah. 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 It's the guy from Arrested Development, isn't it? No, that's Ozark. That's Ozark. Oh, no, no. Oz, isn't that an old show from HBO? It's an old show from HBO. And uh, it's, it's about a prison. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. You know what, Amir? I don't think I've ever done this on the pod before, but I think you should watch it. Wow. I, I, I think it's your style. It's like, it does remind me of like old HBO dramas, yeah. like Sopranos, yeah. you know, and The Wire. Yeah. Because Oz was like, I think it was a few years before The Wire. Yeah. And a ton of those actors on The Wire uh, were in Oz. So this is uh, 90s, mid-90s? or Yes, this is like... 90s? This is like... I, I think it's like the early, early 90s. Only 90, 90s kids only will 90s. remember. I don't think 90 kids... No, only 80, 80s kids. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Even... So I guess late, if you were like... Late 70s kids. Born... Yeah, definitely the 70 kids. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, but it's, it's about a prison. Yeah, it's about like it's it's the setting is just in a prison. Yeah, and it's it's, I think it's really good. Yeah, and it reminds me of The Sopranos because of the way that it's filmed and the way that it's, like, it, mm. it's acted out, mm. and the script is also really good. Mm. But, uh, it's definitely not safe for kids. For kids, it's really quite <laughs> the opposite. It's really of, quite of the opposite. A lot of a lot of prison gang related yeah so what i'm thinking is that's part thinking of it is, yeah yeah that happens that happens that happens and it's well, not pretty and it's not pretty yeah and and uh jk simmons is yeah like, now, that, now that's great i like that guy yeah and he's like the leader of the aryan brotherhood yeah oh in the that's, prison okay. okay so he's like a really hardcore nazi in the show wow so so you that know what happens when you know what Nazis say. I know, I know what they what, say. What do they say, man? Um, they say they have their phrases. <laughs> they have their phrases. They have their true. way to express themselves. Yeah, I, I think it's better than Sopranos. Okay. Because, because I never really cared for like Tony Soprano. Yeah. But it's really interesting uh, in Oz that like all these prisoners, you really like them and you start to like care in a way. Mm. But they're also really bad guys like everyone in that prison is like in there for murder Mm, yeah and uh and then you start to like like the death penalty is the thing yeah in uh in the show yeah and then when the character that you like yeah is up for the death penalty you're kind of like oh no you know (laughs) like even though that guy is even though that guy like tortured and yeah and raped and killed people that's interesting that's interesting you can still have empathy for these people and that's what makes it like a truly good tv show that you watch it and you still have like empathy for that's an interesting aspect i remember i remember this show being on tv as a as a as a young 90s kid but obviously but obviously i didn't watch it but i i just remember that was a show that was on back then i know i had never heard of it until i really a couple of years ago okay uh pata yeah recommended it to me because i i I mentioned that i like the wire what about twin peaks Nothing I watched. I don't even understand what it is. I, what I, is it about? I, I don't. E- I, I know it's this uh, this famous director David Lynch who uh-huh. made it, but but I don't know what it is about. But I just know that it has a real um, passionate subculture that really yeah. loves this show. It's like a cult classic. Yeah, but I but guess a cult classic would need to be like not popular when it came out. Maybe yeah. But, but but I have no fucking clue what that what that's about. I know I the only thing I know about it is that like it's it's mystery. Yeah. It's also like Dallas. I have no idea what Dallas is about. Me neither. But it's like the longest running yeah. TV show. Yeah. Uh Yellowstone. Don't know what that I don't even know what that is to begin with. <laughs> I don't even so. know that's what the name is. Yeah. No, so I'm just uh yeah. I'll I'll consider Oz. Uh, you should watch it because it's like it's kind of a it's kind of like a 
it reminds me of Game of Thrones in that like whenever something like good is gonna happen, mm. you're 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 really suspicious. Mm, mm, yeah. Like you don't really get a lot of victories in Game of Thrones. Yeah. So the, and 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 so you feel intensely when when shit happens. You're yeah. Like, oh my god. Oh, shit I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, I had a thought actually. When if we're this this could be a total flop of a question. Yeah. Let's say you're watching Game of Thrones, and you're, and you know Joffrey is at his peak worst. Yeah, yeah. You know he's he's, I think at some point he raped Sansa. Oh yeah. And then you know he killed Ned Stark, and he's like he was this piece of shit that everybody hated. Yeah. And when he died, people were happy. Mm. Does that mean you're for the death penalty? Now that's now that's an interesting question you ask me there. That's an interesting question. It- in general, am I for the death penalty? Slippery slow. Oh my god! Can I call a friend? Um, yeah. I am. That. Um, I don't know. I've never really thought about the death penalty. I, I understand it. I don't really want to immediately say no. I want to give this a little bit of thought. I um, think people are people will sometimes say that they're against because yeah. they would like a a prisoner. Yeah. That committed like a really awful crime to yeah. rot forever in prison. Yeah. But let's say in Sweden, yeah. you get life in prison. Yeah. You can still like exercise and eat food, <laughs> nice food. Yeah. And, like, yeah. You have a room. You also, can, like, it, costs, it, co- it costs us a lot of money to maintain that prisoner's lifestyle. No lifestyle. Yeah. So. But to kill a person, that's quite controversial. That is controversial. Controversial. But. I think let's say Osama bin Laden was caught by the Ameri- the crazy Americans. The crazy Americans, yeah. And somebody was like, Should we kill him? Would you say no or would you say yes if they asked you? Should we kill, should we <laughs> kill him? <laughs> okay. I think we should kill him. I mean, t- Considering the amount of people that he was responsible for killing. Yeah, so some crazy Americans asked me. <laughs> for some reason. For some reason. Should we kill him? Yeah. God. But to, but to say yes yeah. would mean that I'm... I agree that death is the worst punishment for a person. Yeah, okay. I see your thinking. And I and but then but that would also mean like I'm for giving someone the ultimate punishment. Yeah. And that seems like that seems like something that I go to hell for. I'm going to, I I'll yeah. probably go to hell for a multitude yeah. of But what is the counter argument? Why should we not kill Why why Osama. why you shouldn't kill? Yeah. Osama bin Laden in particular? For, I don't for, know. For, yeah. <laughs> I can't give you yeah, that. Yeah. But in general it's to rehabilitate. Yeah. And then maybe they can put some value. Put some good out into the world again. Yeah. But that's, that's true. But if someone is anyway like 20 years old when they're put in prison yeah. and they get, you know, 80 years. Yeah. It's like 80 years. Yeah. Like if you make it out, you'll be 100. What the fuck yeah, are you yeah. going to do then, man? Exactly. You're going to die in there in prison. So I don't know, like, and then if if they get like a sickness or something, yeah, you know they, you, they get like treatment, mm. but they don't pay for that. No, uh, it's a really I, slippery I don't know. slope. Like, isn't, isn't death penalty a, a softer penalty? Isn't lifetime in prison worse than death penalty? I guess it depends. This this TV show Oz, yeah. Um, there's like a a unit in the system or like a section in the prison. Yeah. That, that it's about this section. It's like a experimental thing called they call it Emerald City. Okay. It's like it's like prisoners are allowed to, you know, walk around mm. and mm. like watch TV and mm. they there's com- a computer room and they do their own laundry and they have jobs and stuff like that. Okay. Which is like it in it, like it sounds like a really good idea. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like if America implemented one little part that was like a Scandinavian prison. Mm, mm. Um, what was your original question? My question was, isn't death penalty uh, a softer? A softer. Isn't, yeah, isn't yeah, the yeah. worst penalty lifetime in prison? 
if you, if you consider that fact, I think if you own like a private prison in America, which a lot of people do, and they get like really fucking rich yeah. off of, or I, I shouldn't say a lot of people own a private prison, but yeah. there are a lot of private prisons, Yeah, I think, in America. And like they, I'm going to fuck up the numbers, but like they have like a, like 20, they have like 20% of the prisoners in the world or something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Something. Uh, so if you have a really shitty prison where all these guys do all day is just stay in a cell mm-hmm. and they go fucking crazy, I guess so. Yeah. But in Scandinavia, for instance, where you can get like really rehabilitated and you can study and you can yeah. like go to class and you can learn a skill and you can watch TV and you get yeah. like all these things. Yeah, it, uh, it's more humane. It's, 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 it's more humane. So to yeah. get life there, you know, it's like... If you're if you're out on the street and you live yeah. on the street and you kill someone and yeah. then you get life in prison, it's like okay, now I'm not homeless anymore. I get to yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah, I don't know. I guess in, at the end of the day, it's not good to have death penalties. But mm. if I am the victim mm-hmm. in some way, if I'm connected to a tragedy, uh-huh. I could understand people who would want that person dead. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah. If if I was wronged by this yeah. prisoner who yeah. murdered my family, yeah. I'd be like, he needs to die. Yeah, and but, but, I, but, but, I think I think the thing yeah. is, people assume that people who are at that level mm. that were like, I kill your entire family, mm. they I think you assume that they don't care if they die, mm. or they might want to die. Yeah, but as, at at least how it's represented in this TV show Oz. Yeah. I don't know how close that is to reality, mm. but nobody who's on death row mm. wants to die. Yeah. Everyone's really afraid of dying. You can learn a lot about life and death from Oz, it sounds like. You learn a ton. That's, I, an, that's another argument for me to watch it. Yeah, yeah, I think you but, should. But honestly, like Osama bin Laden, let's say they caught him alive and they ask you, should we kill him? And you say, <laughs> yeah. would you say no, oh, because okay. maybe we can rehabilitate him and he can come back to society and... No, 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 no. We can't let him back into a into society. No. That I don't think we should do. Yeah. We should do. What what should we do? What should we do with him? Uh, I feel like he's so next level that you have to kill him. Or I guess so. <laughs> I, like I, I would love to have someone who's really against. Yeah, I would. I would also. We should have someone who's against on the show and be like, why should Osama? Why why should we let Osama bin Laden go? Yeah, but but the answer is going to be some sort of moral compass like we need to be above this or like Mm -hmm. as a human society these are not the ways then you're like okay okay yeah sounds good but but i think i think there's a i think there's another step in the slippery slope yeah where you can or i can't think of it right now but Mm -hmm. like if they say okay so you're okay with this yeah but how about this yeah and then the next step after that is this yeah and someone who's like someone who's like you know, you're a philosopher. Yeah, and then there, 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 there's so there's gonna be so many angles on, and it's like maybe it's easier to just not allow it. Uh-huh. It's also like this moral dilemma of like, let's say there's a guy who didn't kill anybody. Yeah, he's just like a, he's just like a fucking piece of shit asshole. <clears throat> yeah, who doesn't do anything illegal, mm. and he's a coworker of yours, and everyone hates him. Yeah, he does a really shitty job. Yeah, but no one knows why he's keeping his job. Yeah, maybe he's the son of someone <laughs> someone there and he yeah. got that position somehow yeah and and uh he's rude to everybody he meets he mm-hmm. he never you know tips after good service yeah he litters in the streets yeah he drinks a coffee fucking throws it out on the thing Ooh, whatever it's exactly. not illegal it's not illegal per se but it's he's a just... piece of crap for it yeah uh nobody will miss this person if they're dead yeah. Should he die? <laughs> uh, he you know? that... Ob- obviously, uh, no. Like, yeah, yeah, a yeah. person who's done no wrong. Yeah. Except for, like, these things that you, we can all agree is, like, mm. really shitty. Yeah. No, he should just die symbolically. Symbolically? Somehow. Go on, how? I don't know. But just symbolically, not actually. Mm. He should get fired, at least. Yeah. Well, that could be, be the fired. symbolical yeah, yeah. death. Yeah, I don't know. I think um, I think at the end of the day, let's just not take away people's lives. 
I think so. But Osama bin Laden, if they ask me, Osama bin Laden, if they ask me, maybe this one time, okay. <laughs> maybe this one time. Maybe I this make, one time we can make an exception you to crack the rule. Your knuckles. Maybe I can make an exception. <laughs> maybe just maybe, this maybe, once. Osama. Maybe just this one time. Okay, <laughs> just this once. Are you updated on this? Don't worry, darling. Be movie? Ha- no, I thought you were gonna say "Don't worry, be happy." The song. No. Uh, but no, I am not aware of that movie even. Is this Olivia Wilde? You know Olivia Wilde. Olivia Wilde. That's John's Chris- John Krasinski's wife. No, that's Olivia. So, Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. Oh, but Olivia Wilde. Wh- wh- Olivia wh- Wilde she was. Uh, is unless the news is that she's dead. Oh, she is, I guess. But she she's the ex-wife of the guy that was on SNL. She's an actress. She was in. Oh, 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 oh yeah, the guy from uh, the Ted Lasso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and she fuck, I can't even think of a one fucking movie that this girl was in. I I I know what she looks like. She's a famous person, but I don't yeah. remember what movie she is in. Yeah, same. Uh, she did. She made a movie. <laughs> yeah, and it's less. called Don't Worry darling it's with like chris pine mm. florence Pugh, okay and then harry styles harry styles who she's now dating Ooh. i think I, I don't know uh anyway th- th- there's a ton of fucking drama around this movie and the cast members and everything like people mm. are getting involved with each other and like oh people okay. are like not happy yeah with each other is it because of harry styles um because if Harry Styles is so. somewhere, it's all going to be about Harry Styles, whether we like it or not. Yeah. my I have two questions about this thing. Let's say, now that, now you, you were unaware of all the drama surrounding the movie. Yeah. But it could be fabricated, just mm. to, like as a marketing thing. Could be. But does that do it for you? For mm. me, it makes mm. me never want to fucking see this movie in my goddamn life. No, no, life. me neither, if it's, a, if it's a marketing scheme. And number two... Should Harry Styles be acting? But it, yeah, that's also a question because now it's all about him. Yeah. I I, I mean, I, listen, I understand Olivia I, Wilde. I understand Olivia Wilde hey, for going a little movie, wild with, was, with, <laughs> with Harry Styles. <laughs> if I was making a movie, yeah. I would also want to get a little wild with I, Harry Styles. Hey, I can't blame him for that in particular. <laughs> yeah. And it, it's good marketing, just the very fact that Harry Styles is a part of it. Yeah. He's in, you know what but I mean? They, but they, they made the movie and then they started hooking up or in the I, I middle of so. the movie or something. I think so. Oh. Or uh, or maybe he got the movie because they were uh, together. Or maybe maybe they they started hooking up in the middle of the movie and maybe they were like, this is, we shouldn't be doing this, right? And then, they, <laughs> yeah. you know, they had one of those and then it's like, yeah. I don't I, care. I, and you know what they should, <laughs> what it's called when Olivia Wilde and Harry Styles do the thing and have sex yeah they call it wild style <laughs> wild style <laughs> that's nice that's enough nice. of that enough of that shit <laughs> uh. yeah why <laughs> they invented uh. something new there wild style uh. <laughs> i have to move on from that <laughs> yeah so her, fa- hey, her, fa- her favorite position yeah. is wild style <laughs> No, but that. Okay. Enough of that. That this is where we get canceled finally. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, I gotta move on. I have to move on. Yeah, I already really gotta move on. <laughs> what was even the point of the the, the whole point was the whole thing? <laughs> I've only seen like a clip of him <laughs> doing something in the movie. Yeah, he's like really bad. <laughs> he's also bad. Yeah, of I'm course. I was wondering like, okay, he's okay, he's a superstar. Yeah, but like, uh, we also we're also putting him in movies. Yeah, he's just gonna mess thing up things up, especially like <laughs> when <laughs> they go out. <laughs> You can't just pull up to movies and go, wild style <laughs> people <laughs> and expect things to run smoothly. Uh, he need he has some responsi- <laughs> responsibility. Listen, I don't blame her for going wild style. I, I don't I don't blame it blame her either. But <laughs> he shouldn't he shouldn't be acting. <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> 
<laughs> My God. <sighs> uh, okay. Keeping it, keeping it together. <clears throat> I'm not gonna be able to move on from this. <laughs> no, this is, this is, uh, this is. Uh, we're almost at like the one hour mark. Uh, good, because <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to think of anything else other no. than wild stuff. <laughs> Maybe that's maybe we maybe that this is where we end it. Unless, <laughs> unless there was something else to say about that. Uh no. Yeah. No. I mean, how can we move on from wild style to, <laughs> I to, don't think to, we to can. like whatever else there is to talk about? To Osama bin Laden. To Osama bin Laden. If, if they I, if they came to me and asked me, should we kill him? <laughs> yeah. Go, oh, let's go wild style. <laughs> And, or you say I have a better idea. How about wild style? <laughs> uh, oh my god, I, Harry okay. Styles. I don't. Yeah, I guess that's the fourth. I, 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 yeah, I, I think we have to end it. Uh, um, fuck you know. And exhausted. always, as, as always, thank you for watching and tuning yeah. in, listening to our shit, and uh, keep doing it. I suppose. Yeah, please do. Uh, yeah, follow us on Instagram, get some merch, listen to the episodes, spread the word. Spread the word, more importantly. Um, yeah. <clears throat> we and have fun. Because if we don't get some more listeners soon, we're going to go fucking wild we're style. Gonna go we'll back, we're going to go wild style on this shit. <laughs> and nobody wants that. Nobody wants that shit nobody to happen. Uh, okay, for the podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>